Hi, Chad here from the AI Content Dojo, and Shortly has done it again. You know, this new command, I mean, they're on the verge of just basically giving you what you want, when, or I guess what you expect when you ask the AI to write for you. Now, if you've used any of these AI tools, you kind of know that you know, it's a it's really interesting and they do a pretty good job, but they don't always produce what you expect. Sometimes they produce some pretty terrible results. Um, but shortly is on its way to producing sort of hitting that that golden ratio, right? Where you're writing and then when you get the AI to write for you, it gives you what you want so you can just keep on going. And it's just going to make your productivity go through the roof. And the new command is called instruct, and it's literally the universal command. It's something where you can ask your, your, your AI assistant for pretty much anything. And this is going to make shortly really fit into all these, you know, your, your content uh, creation workflows. And, you know, and that's really the goal of using these AI tools, isn't it? To make you more productive so that you can beat your competition and get more work done. What is slash instruct? You can think of it as um, literally as if you are providing instructions to your AI writing assistant. Like you literally just turn to your assistant and you say, hey, please write a product description about, and then give it something to write about, or give me some ad copy, you know, whatever you need you can put into slash instruct and you should be able to get something pretty uh, usable from it. Um, now, before I go further into this guide, uh, it is important to know that this is beta, right? So you're going to sometimes see some wonky results or it's just going to go off the rails a little bit, but it works most of the time and it's pretty fantastic. So context inside of instruct. Now, if you if you followed some of my other guides, you know that context is some is like one of the most important things to understand. You know, context basically meaning when you're writing, what is being used by the AI to give you the results that you want. In the case of shortly, that means that the article brief, the title, and everything above the cursor where you are in your writing is going to go over to the AI to get the results. You also might know that inside of the slash commands, normally they don't use any of that context. It's only what's inside of the square brackets of that command, except that instruct is different. Of course it is, right? It's almost actually the inverse of that. It's more like, um, well, the other commands don't have anything around it, only what's in the square brackets. Instruct uses, of course, what's inside of the square brackets, but also the context that's above the content that is above it in your article, but not the article brief or title. <laughs> so you'll see it a little bit later in some of the examples, but basically from wherever that com that command is inside of your content up will be used to help the AI produce content that you're expecting. But the article brief and the title are not used, so they don't mean anything. You don't have to worry about them if you're using the slash instruct command. And this really gives it some unique, uh, interesting possibilities. And um, I'm going to give you some examples here in a moment. But before we do that, as you can imagine, since the, con the, context, the content above the command will be used by the AI, that means that you can't forget about the context cutoff ruler, which is going to be very useful when you're using this command. And so, yes, the context cutoff ruler works here, which means that if you ever get to the point where for some reason, you know, if you forget about the, the triple slash, which is the context cutoff ruler, if for some reason the, the, the instruct command is not giving you what you want, and it just seems like something is kind of getting in the way and you forgot about the triple slash, you know, don't forget about it. You need it. If sometimes you're going to be in the middle of an article and you just want something completely unique, but you want to use a slash instruct. But since slash instruct uses the content above it 
to determine what to bring you for uh, results, you need that triple slash to cut off the content above it so that you can get something specific. Okay, here are some examples of slash instruct in action. Maybe a product description, right? When you need some copy for maybe a landing page or a magazine spread or, or just, you know, maybe some part of a really in-depth article that you're writing. I mean, product descriptions don't have to be used specifically for like brochures and stuff like that, right? You might do something like slash instruct, please write a product description about Birdie, a revolutionary new backyard bird feeder with a built-in 360 degree camera, a mobile app, and is squirrel proof. Um, one thing to pay attention here is Birdie. Birdie is the name of the product. And since I'm the inventor of it, this imaginary product, uh, there's no way that the AI knows about it yet, right? It can't possibly be in the AI's brain because I made it. It's not out there already for the AI to have learned of, learned of it. So I need to tell it what Birdie is. And that's a revolutionary new backyard bird feeder. So when you're asking for a product description about something that doesn't exist, make sure you kind of describe it a little bit. The results that I got back from it when I ran, of course, this is AI, so you're going to get back something different. If you Even if you used the exact same uh, content right there, if you use the exact same this, uh, your results will be different. So the Birdie is the world's first smart feeder that is designed to help people enjoy nature's small gifts without being eaten alive by squirrels. <laughs> if you if you've had a bird feeder, you know, and, and you live in an area that has squirrels, you know that they're like some of the most inventive little creatures and trying to get into that bird feeder to, to steal the food. And so anyway, I think you can see here that it's actually a pretty decent product description. And of course, with all AI writing, you should never take the AI writing, you know, word for word always. You should always edit and always make changes to kind of make it your voice and also make sure that the facts and things are correct. Of course, this is a, a product description, probably less facts and stuff like that to worry about. But my point is always edit and review AI written content. Okay, how about a service description? Maybe you're a an electrician or a plumber or a doctor with your own practice and you need to get some copy for your homepage or something that you're selling your services and you know you want to stand out from your competition. Um, especially for like local services, like, you know, you're a doctor in Sydney, Australia or something, or, or an electrician or something. So you might do something like slash instruct, please write a service description about our reliable electrician services in Sydney, Australia. And that can come back with something like every home is different and each project milestone or challenge presents a new opportunity for innovation. We're a team of electricians that have been working in Sydney for nearly three decades and so on. Um, that's not too bad. Uh, of course, you can always run these commands over and over or multiple times, you know, so you can compare the outputs or even merge them and use them together for your for your needs. How about ad copy? You know, when you need some ad copy quick, you know, or just need some ideas, maybe you're just for whatever reason, you're drawing a blank that day and, you know, the boss says, you know, you need a new ad because they're running you know, a sale or something. So hurry up make an ad and here shortly can give you some, some help too. And you can just think about it as if you just turned to your AI assistant, you say, Hey, I'm busy. Please write ad copy about birdie, our revolutionary new back of your bird feeder, blah, blah, blah. Right. And then the results that I got was, was this the best bird feeder on the market? Probably birdie is the first ever school squirrel proof motion detection bird feeder with a built in 360. Uh, HD camera and so on. Very cool. Uh, and of course, run it over and over again, compare the results, provide multiple ads for your, uh, your boss to review and pick one or something like that. And you know, it, it'll d just give you some really great productivity. And of course, the power of shortly the blank canvas, you know, look and um, user experience, you can just use all these slash commands all in one document and produce a great executive summary or something like that for your boss and uh, just work really quickly. And finally, I just want to say that um, you should probably experiment. I mean, it is the universal open command that's kind of ready for you to pass it instructions. You know, you should be able to ask for all sorts of content. And so 
experiment. Try all kinds of things, you know, and just see what you get. And if if you're in the AI Content Dojo email list and you're having difficulties, shoot me an email. I'd love to see what you're trying to get from the AI and, and provide some help. In fact, you don't see it here in the video, but now that I think about it, uh, there will be a form right here that if you're not in the AI Content Dojo email list that you can subscribe. It's totally free and I don't spam. The only thing I do is right now is occasionally around once a week or so is I provide an email that just says, hey, these are the new guides for you to check out and learn from. That's it. And um, that's the conclusion too. Basically, experiment, try it out. The new command is awesome. It's going to give you almost writing super... I said this a lot, but it's going to give you writing superpowers. And every once in a while, there's, a new, there's also a new thing in Shortly. They're trying to figure out if you're getting what you expect, you know. So... Every once in a while, you're going to see a little prompt that comes up when you run these commands that says, hey, what did you think of the output? You know, it's just a little button click, you know, if it's good or it's bad or whatever. Try it. You know, please fill it out. Let them know that if they're doing a good job or not. That way they can, you know, tweak things to make it better for you. And um, that's it. That's it for this guide uh, so far. <laughs> Liz, I almost forgot to jump over into the demo. So let me just switch over to shortly and just show you this is the ad or i mean sorry the article that you just uh, i just showed you while i was explaining the command so i'm just going to jump down to the examples area and you notice i'm using the triple slash because i don't want uh anything above this command from causing a problem because the whole article itself is about you know the new slash command inside of shortly it's not about writing a product description about birdie so I use the triple slash to cut that off so it doesn't actually interfere. And then you come over here, as with all the uh, the commands like this, you put your cursor at the end of the square bracket and then you can either click right for me or do command or control enter. So in this case, con command enter, I'm gonna let it run and watch it blow up on me, not give me anything good, but it's beta, so that's what happens. No, it's actually doing pretty good. Awesome. Now that's a that's actually a better product. Look, it's just going on and on. It's a better product description than the one that I got the first time. And you know, this is this is what I got the first time, and this is what I got just right here, right in front of you. They're both great. Um, and like I said, you can run this thing over and over again. In fact, um, if I just copy this, I can Control Z. I'm going to have to do that a couple times because I made some dashes. You can do control Z to get back to the instruction and maybe I could just paste that back in. Right? Because if you want to run it over and over again, you can just copy it. Run it. Then paste it back in. Run it again. And, um, and just uh, keep getting more and more. Oh, uh, look at that. Here we go. Good. So it's showing me what it would, how would you rate the AI? Uh, that particular one, I would say, yeah, you know, it's it's okay, I guess. It's too short. It doesn't really provide a lot of detail. So I'm just going to say okay. Um, and so, as you can see, it, it works pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and copy this because now let's say that I want more uh, service description for my electrician in Sydney, Australia. I guess that kind of brings up a good point too. If you're a writer who's writing for localized teams you know you're not a part of the team but you're trying to uh, provide assistance to them and you're the writer or or your your business is writing you know these the shortly can give you some uh, great productivity boost to help you produce content faster and therefore you know impressing your client and stuff like that this is another one that's pretty good i like it and i made a copy so i should be able to just do this run it again so you can see that i can get two or three, you know, service descriptions. And that one was really short. So um, you can do a, a redo on that command backslash or redo the command and hopefully you get something better. Yeah, a little bit. Emergency defibrillator, oh wow, okay. And there you go. So product description, product description, service description, service description. You can just keep doing it over and over again. Um, and just for, just for thorough, just to be thorough, let's just run 
add copy again to see what we get. And it's really short. Run it again. And that's, of course, one of the another, uh, another beautiful thing about Shortly is that it's unlimited. There's no credits. So you don't feel bad. If it doesn't give you something perfect that you wanted, you just run it again. And there's no burning through credits and wasting all that, you know, and eventually having to pay more because you're not quite getting what you need. And uh, there you go. That's Slash Instruct in action. And I hope that you found this useful. And uh, it, please let me know in the comments below what you think of Slash Instruct. And there is more coming to shortly that's going to make it just even better at making sure that it gets you what you want when you use these commands and when you're just writing with that right for me, you know, in the middle of the dance, like I say all the time in my videos with shortly, the dance, right? You know, you write some, the AI writes some, and you just uh, create beautiful content together. All right, that's it for this guide. Take care.